Hi, welcome everyone. I am Jennifer Fennell, Product Marketing Manager here at Accounting Seed. And on behalf of everyone at Accounting Seed from all of our teams, thank you for taking the time to join us for our webinar today. Now, let me introduce my esteemed colleagues. Joining me today is Aparna Shanbhag. She is the product owner with over 15 years of experience in the software industry. She'll be handling all of our questions and answers today, along with our presenter, Mary Balmer. She's Director of Product Management. She's a CPA, Salesforce certified, and has over 30 years of experience developing tax and accounting software. We are really excited to help you level up your business with AI automation and financial analytics. Mary, with that, I'll let you take it away. Thanks, Jen. Before we move into financial analytics, I wanted to just talk about data. Okay. You need access to your data across your business, right? We're talking about when, when I talk about data, it, you know, everyone has applications, a ton of different applications. They're all over the place and data, data is just siloed in all of these places. But when you think about being able to really understand what's going on in your business, you need all of that data together and you need clean data, right? Uh -huh. So you need to be able to access your data across your business before you can even think about analyzing it and reporting on it. At any level, you're going to want to report on it at any level. You're going to want to be able to report across any segment of your business to understand what is happening and why. Now, this may you may relate to this, unfortunately. Um, what happens when you have that disconnected data? You may be currently using that in a large number of applications, and some of them may be very old legacy systems. Um, they may not be connected. And so you have that data, which is siloed in multiple systems. And now, um, many times we, we see customers with multiple data lakes. Uh, you may have a lack of data governance. You've built out a variety of these different connectors. You're syncing the data, you're maintaining it, and then you're updating the connectors as you take on new tools, or maybe as these existing tools that you're working with um, have new features associated with them, so you have new data that you need to sync up. And so the work really never ends with respect to keeping all of this data in sync. But at the end of the day, it's all about the data. When you have access to all of your data together on one platform, and this data is made available to you immediately, it's only then that you have transparency across your entire business. You have that single pane of glass through which you can analyze your entire organization. And it's only then that you're really able to see and tell the story of what's happening in your business. And it's really only then that you can make data-driven decisions to help you grow your business. Now, I'm sure you all have heard by now, there have been many studies, data-driven companies perform better. Right? You're able to deliver more value to your customers, you're able to more easily add new customers, and you're able to retain your existing customers. When you have all of your data together on one platform, you can begin looking at this data at different altitudes. So for example, what's my revenue during this quarter? And then during this quarter, who are my most profitable customers? And then maybe for those most profitable customers, well, what are they buying? This sort of analysis will surface insights that will help you potentially um, decide where to focus your resources and ultimately help you grow your revenue. In our new financial analytics app, we have pulled the data together for you. Okay? We have created a data model and we have enriched the data sets to give you the ability to analyze data at any level. So let's talk a little bit about this financial analytics app. All right. When you're on the Salesforce platform, all of us that are here at Accounting Seed, our Accounting Seed customers know this, we have access to powerful reporting tools. And Accounting Seed enhances reporting with our financial reporting tool. These, all of these reporting tools help you understand 
what happened in the past and what's currently happening in your business. What if you want to take it a step further to not only wonder, understand what's happening, but why? And what could you do potentially to improve your business? This is where business intelligence tools come into play, giving you the ability to bring data together, enrich the data so that you can analyze it and you can uncover deeper insights. With our new Accounting Seed Financial Analytics app, we are giving you intelligence on platform. Okay, we built the app on CRM Analytics, which is a Salesforce native analytics and business intelligence tool, and it is built to scale. We've created data sets. We've enriched the data to provide you with key financial metrics out of the box, giving you the ability to perform multi-dimensional ad hoc analysis from these very visually appealing dashboards where you can drill down into the data and ultimately all the way back to the source. We've created these visualizations of your financial data to help you make data-driven decisions. And we've given you trending charts to improve your understanding of not only what's going on during a period, but how does this compare over time? And this is gonna help you uncover patterns in your business. Using this new app, you're gonna have a deeper understanding of your business, you're gonna have improved data-driven decision-making and improved productivity. And then from the deeper insights that are revealed, you'll be able to increase your performance and profitability all at a reduced cost since this is all on platform. As we know, <laughs> there has been tremendous breakthrough in artificial intelligence over this past year. Who could not know this? I don't know, it's been all over the news. <laughs> We're just coming out of Dreamforce 23 and CEO and Chairman Mark Benioff announced this conference as the world's largest AI event. And I was there. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, learned lots of things about what they're doing with AI. Well, at Dreamforce, Salesforce announced the next generation of its Einstein platform and tools to give businesses the ability to easily connect their data, implement AI solutions, and achieve new levels of efficiency with these AI tools. We in Accounting Seed have laid the foundation for AI models in our new financial analytics app. Our Accounting Seed customers have benefited already by having their data on one platform. And so they should be ready to begin if they haven't already begun formulating their AI strategy. In the meantime, we've laid the foundation for AI in our new financial analytics app to generate things like you know, predicted outcomes and prescriptive guidance. The financial analytics model provides the foundation for things like predicting cash flow and predicting customer lifetime value and automatically generating forecasts and automatically generating budgets and maybe even going as far as suggesting improvements to some financial KPIs. How do I improve my bottom line? How can I reduce churn? We will be moving forward to incorporate AI into our products to help our customers achieve new levels of efficiency in their organization. But for all of our customers today that are already on platform, there is no need to wait. Once you have financial analytics, you can be, begin taking advantage of the AI built into the Einstein platform with the data model that we have delivered in this app. Are we ready for a demo? <laughs> I think we are. So I am gonna get out of here and I am gonna go into our financial analytics app and I've landed on the revenue page. Why? Because revenue is usually a focus for all businesses, okay? Um, here, what we've done with these dashboards, we, we've given you several different kinds of dashboards. Uh, revenue is one of them and we're giving you KPIs and we're giving you you know, here's your revenue for a selected legend for, le for a selected period. But not only that, we're giving you additional context to help you understand that revenue, to help you see that revenue at different altitudes, 
Okay, so you start with, here's my total revenue for my period. And by the way, you can set alerts if you want to really track closely your revenue. I can go here and I can set a notification. Oh, when my revenue exceeds a certain point, I want to be notified because I want to send out kudos to the team. Or if my revenue falls below a certain amount, I want to be notified so I can get with my team and see what we can do to improve the business. You'll be getting those real-time notifications and they can be set on any widget on any dashboard. Okay? So I've got my total revenue, that's my KPI. But in addition, I can see the number of billings that were issued in the period. I can see my average billing for that particular period. And I can see who my top 10 customers are. So that gives me some really valuable information, more context into my revenue. Additionally, uh, I can see revenue across geographic areas. I can see revenue across product family and region. And by the way, this can all be customized very easily. All of these dashboards, all of our data sets are completely customizable. So if it doesn't make sense for you to see revenue across product family and region, Maybe you want to see revenue across your, you know, GL accounting variable two and three, or however you want to see it. All of these can be modified, updated. You can apply different chart types. You can do whatever you want here. Um, but this is an interesting view of revenue across two different dimensions. Uh, and then we have our revenue by week. So you can see where you're making revenue throughout the year, because you may uncover some patterns there. And that may want you, that may, um, prompt you to say, well, this is good. I want to keep that pattern or no, maybe I want to change that pattern. Um, and what can I do to change that? Now these dashboards here are interactive. So if I were to click on a bubble here, let's say I click on this bubble. This is my product family bundles for my region US South. I'm going to start filtering into that data. So now we're again going into a lower level view of my data. And this transaction listing at the bottom then filtered based on that. These are all interactive widgets. So it's filtered and now I can see the revenue that was earned for that specific product, family, and region. And if I, I wanna take it further and look at the source, I'm just gonna open that source record and note how I'm in another tab and I'm in the billing associated with that, that particular record. This is all on platform. Your business intelligence tool is just a tab away. I go back here and I'm back on my dashboard. I go over here, I'm in accounting seed. So I can continue working in accounting seed when I'm ready to see my dashboard, just go back to that tab. So it's really so advantageous to have your business intelligence on platform with your accounting solution. So I can just go ahead and refresh this view, bring me back to my original default view. As I mentioned, you can do ad hoc analysis, multi-dimensional analysis. If let's say I want to just look at my US East and my US West regions, I can do that. I can select multiple values within the same dimension. And I can, and I can continue selecting additional dimensions. So let's say I just want to see this for my reseller channel, right? So I'm gonna click apply and then that's going to return the results to me. So lots of ways in which you can dive in. We're just looking at revenue at this point. Lots of different ways in which you can review your revenue. We also have trending charts. So if we go to the trending chart here, I'll go ahead and refresh my view. And for some reason, I'm not able to click on my so let's, go, let's go into the PL dashboard. I think my Oh, it was probably because I was in the notifications, sorry. Um, let me go back to revenue here and see if I can get out of here so I can go into my trending charts. Here we go. I wanted to show you trending charts. All right, so for revenue, we are trending over time by revenue. So if you have different revenue types, you can see the trending over time. We are adding, we're continually adding context to revenue. So this is all about revenue. Here we're showing you increase, decrease in revenue by period. And not only that, we're showing you increase and decrease in your average billing amount. Why? That's not in context. It may be the reason that your revenue has gone up or down. It may not be, right? But this is, as I mentioned before, they are fully customizable. And so if, for example, you're in a SaaS organization, 
you may be interested in seeing, well, how many customers did I have this period? Or what is my churn this period? That is certainly going to contribute to this revenue. That's going to add additional context to this dashboard. That is for you to, to customize. You can bring in your own business. You're going to have your own objects, your own fields. You're going to be doing these calculations in your business, and you can add that context. You don't have to start from scratch. Start from the financial analytics dashboards, and you can make a copy of them, or you can just use them as, are, as they are, and you can edit them and add context to, so that it will bring you more meaning. Okay? And then we're always going to do year-over-year -year analysis. Uh, so we've got this trending analysis here. We're always going to have that transaction listing, allowing you to drill all the way back to the source. The, the date range is very flexible. So if I'm currently defaulting the current fiscal year, I can look at the previous fiscal year and see how I'm trending. Okay, so I'll just click on update there. And then I can see for last year how I'm trending. What if I wanted to see how I'm doing per quarter on a quarterly basis, monthly basis, weekly basis, all the way down to days, I can see how I'm trending. And I even have the ability to go up here to custom and if I wanted to go, you know, two years ago to one year ago, you know, whatever you want to see, you have the ability to configure that date range and it will update to show you those transactions. Okay. Now, PL dashboard, I was almost there before, but I'm here now. PL is important, certainly, right? And you're going to have your KPIs at the top, uh, but we're not going to throw out just the KPI, the revenue, the expense, the net profit loss. We're going to Show, give you additional context. We're going to show you how your revenue is doing for the selected ledger and period, and then, excuse me, how it compares to last period, and how it compares to the same period last year. Once again, adding more context here on this dashboard. You've got a nice waterfall chart here, and in our trending charts, of course, you can use all the global filters just as we had in, in the revenue page. You go to your trending charts, and here we're showing your revenue and expenses over time. And anytime you see dotted lines, that's a representation of the prior year. So not only are you able to see revenue expenses over time, we're showing you comparison to prior year, always adding that additional context for you. We've got gross profit trend and net profit trend as well. On the expenses dashboard, that's going to give you the different categories of expenses. You're going to see your operating ratio, the, the total amount. You're going to apply all these filters. Once again, multi-dimensional analysis for your trending charts. Once again, by type, by expense, over the periods, you've got that nice date widget there that, that you can change um, to have a different range to view, and year over year expenses. Okay. As we get into the balance sheet, you'll see some, some additional data enrichment that we did here. So we certainly have the KPIs for the balance sheet with stack charts. Um, now, as we get into receivables and payables outstanding, um, this we have done some data enrichment because we brought transactions in at a very low level, right? So we have uh, grouped and done some, some calculations to find for the selected ledger and selected period what are my total receivables outstanding and bucketed them for you because we know everybody wants to see the buckets of how old these receivables and payables are. Okay, so that was another example of the data enrichment we've done. And additionally, you go further down, you're going to see days sales outstanding and days payable outstanding. So how long is it generally taking me to, taking customers to pay me? And how long is it generally taking me to pay bills? And you're seeing that trending over time. Okay. Um, as we go to the trending charts, cash is king for, you know, I'll say many businesses, probably all businesses, <laughs> cash is king, right? So we're gonna, we've got a cash in bank, and you can see how that trends as compared to last year. And you'll be able to see your accounts receivable and accounts payable trending current year versus prior year. Finally, um, we have our ledger inquiry, and that is very similar for our accounting to customers. It's the ledger inquiry in the financial reporting tool. Um, there are more filters here. 
than there are in the financial reporting tool. And this you uh, multi-selection. So any of these filters, as you begin to select additional GL accounts, you can see that this transaction listing continues to update with each selection you make up here. So this gives you the ability to really drill into those GL balances. And then once again, when you're at a point where you find something interesting that you want to drill into further, all the way back to the source, you have that ability to from this transactions listing table. Okay, so that is it for my demo. I'm going to go back into the slide deck and we are going to talk about what's next. So if you are interested in this new app that was recently released, please feel free to reach out to in an email, send an email to licensing and accountancy.com and we will get right back to you. And with that, I just want to say thank you again on behalf of everyone at Accounting Seed. We appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.